scene 1408. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Alone in her house, an older lady named Tracy suddenly falls. Once she's cremated, her son Emmett gathers her ashes. Meanwhile, Emmett's partner, Anya, tries to write in a journal but feels devoid of inspiration. Emmett returns and offers Anya his mother's earrings, but she admits her pierced ears closed long ago. The couple then visits a lake. There, Emmett awkwardly expresses gratitude to his mother for his life and the home she left him. He scatters the ashes in the water. Later, they reach Tracy's former residence, inherited by Emmett. Inside, Anya discovers a portrait of a dancer, and Emmett confirms the dancer was Tracy in her youth. Anya ponders why Tracy left Emmett the house without ever connecting with him when she was alive. Emmett avoids the topic, steering their focus to intimacy. Their moment is cut short by a noise, drawing Anya's attention. They investigate and find the dining room chair where Tracy had collapsed. Ready to clean up, they halt upon hearing the basement door creak open. The couple descends to investigate and stumbles upon more items, including an old bassinet. In an attempt to lift it, Emmett accidentally bumps his head. He tends to his wound upstairs, while Anya continues to explore and comes across a videotape from her fiance's childhood. Meanwhile, Emmett fetches Tracy's first aid kit but finds syringes inside, triggering a memory. He makes his way to his former bedroom but hears his mother's voice. Surprisingly, Anya is watching Emmett's childhood tapes. Feeling overwhelmed, Emmett heads downstairs to pour himself a drink. Anya becomes frustrated with his silence, as he won't open up to her. She takes matters into her own hands and suggests a role reversal, where Emmett has to be the interviewer and share his problems. Admitting his avoidance tendencies, Emmett reluctantly switches positions, allowing Anya to step into his shoes. Through their conversation, she deduces that his lingering issue is rooted in the trauma of his mother's abandonment. This, she suggests, is driving him to rush through everything to avoid getting emotionally entangled, much like his mother did. Anya goes on to express her belief that his rush to start a family is an attempt to compensate for his unresolved childhood issues. Frustrated by her insights, Emmett heads to the lake, and Anya follows suit. He misunderstands her intentions, thinking she doesn't want a family, but she clarifies that she just longs for him to be emotionally open. Testing his resolve, Emmett challenges her to a swim, a skill she never acquired due to her mother's absence. He takes on the role of instructor, and they both venture into the water, helping Anya overcome her fear. Following their swim, they share a meal involving mushrooms. In the evening, Emmett opens up about his struggle to recognize the house upon their arrival and his difficulty in recalling his childhood memories. Anya, however, is in a slightly altered state and finds it hard to concentrate. She begins playing with a mask from the fireplace and accidentally breaks it. Feeling a sudden urge, she insists on being in the water once more. This leads them to the bathtub, where they share an intimate moment. Yet, the mood shifts as Anya hears a faint whisper. Later, she initiates another chair reversal session, persistently asking Emmett probing questions about his emotions and feelings. Emmett attempts to maintain a passive stance during this conversation, but he becomes defensive when Anya questions whether he ponders why his mother, Tracy, abandoned him. Their exchange becomes heated. She proceeds to inquire about his desire for a family, and Emmett asserts that it's due to his love for her. However, Anya persists in suggesting that the motivation stems from his unresolved feelings towards his mother. This assertion triggers his anger. Unexpectedly, Anya takes on the role of Tracy, mimicking her, and claims that Emmett blames himself for being abandoned. This provokes him to raise his voice, and in the heat of the moment, Anya walks away. To his dismay, Emmett discovers Anya dancing outside before she collapses. He assists her to bed, and during this time, he hears what seems to be his mother's voice. Investigating further, he finds a woman's silhouette beckoning to him from the dining room. The experience leaves him unsettled. The following morning, he wakes up as if the previous events didn't occur. Prior to heading out, he retrieves his mother's portraits from the basement, intending to sell them at a thrift store. As he reaches for the car keys in Anya's bag, she swiftly snatches them away. Just then, the doorbell rings, prompting Emmett to answer it. He encounters the neighbor, Bill, who offers him a ride to the nearby town. Taking up the offer, Emmett completes his errands and decides to jog back home. To his surprise, he discovers the previously broken mask has been repaired, and he finds a woman smoking in the dining room. 
Annoyed by her smoking, he scolds her, sparking an argument that results in the pizza she was heating getting burnt. After they manage to salvage their meal, Emmett begins noticing subtle changes in Anya's behavior. Anya, however, simply remarks on his posture and playfully calls him her little wild thing. Emmett tries to brush off these peculiarities and continues with his tasks. As night falls, he starts to reconsider, thinking that Anya's behavior might be an attempt to demonstrate her point about his relationship with his mother. When Anya claims to be Tracy, Emmett becomes frustrated but decides to humor her. He confesses that he recognizes the need to address his personal issues and vows to become a better partner for her. He leans in to kiss her, and she responds with a gasp. It's at this moment he notices that Anya is wearing his mother's earrings, and they seem to be puncturing her own ears. Alarmed, he contacts a friend, wondering if the mushrooms they consumed the previous day are affecting Anya's behavior. Later, Emmett sleeps on the couch, and he's startled awake by whispers. Out of nowhere, Anya appears and tenderly tucks him into bed, as if he were a child. She then retreats to the bedroom. Come morning, Anya begins her day with a dance in the field, a peculiar sight. She subsequently wakes Emmett with a tray of breakfast. Confused by this gesture, as cooking isn't Anya's fort, Emmett shrugs it off and tries not to dwell on it. Inside the new journal, Emmett discovers an entry where Anya writes about him being needy and how she feels trapped in a cycle destined to keep her by his side forever. He confronts Anya about this revelation, but his confrontation comes to a halt when he witnesses her applying his mother's makeup, seemingly preparing to go into town. Once she leaves, he delves into Anya's bag in search of her old journal, comparing its handwriting to the new entry and confirming they differ. His attention shifts to Anya's purse, yet before he can investigate further, the doorbell rings. A realtor has arrived, prompting Emmett to quickly grant her access to assess the property. However, upon Anya's return, she demands that the realtor leave. Tensions escalate as she insists that the house doesn't belong to Emmett and voices her assertion that it's actually hers. A heated argument ensues, causing the realtor to wisely choose to leave the premises for the time being. Seizing the moment, Emmett scolds Anya and begins packing their belongings. Anya expresses concern that he might be wrinkling their clothes, prompting an outburst from Emmett who points out that she never cared about such trivial matters before. Increasingly troubled by her altered behavior, Emmett decides to take her to her mother's house, only for Anya to vehemently assert that this house is, in fact, hers. She storms off, leaving Emmett perplexed and deeply concerned about her unpredictable behavior. Emmett's persistence leads him to delve into Anya's purse, where he stumbles upon a sonogram, indicating that she is indeed pregnant. Confronting her about this revelation, he expresses frustration over her actions, chastising her for consuming mushrooms and smoking while carrying their child. Anya, however, counters his concern by asserting that she cannot have a baby. Despite this conversation, Anya continues her spontaneous dances in the field. Observing her behavior, Emmett later speaks with Bill, who reveals that Tracy used to dance as a means of coping with stress. This conversation prompts Emmett to question why his mother had him, especially since Tracy seemed unaware of many details about his father. Bill advises him to find forgiveness, suggesting that Tracy never fully recovered from losing her little wild thing. These words resonate with Emmett, prompting him to return home and discover that his mother's journals are missing. In a confrontation with Anya, Emmett accuses her of reading the journals to manipulate him into facing his emotions. In response, Anya presents her own journal but questions who she really is. Remaining unconvinced by her actions, Emmett explains that Anya is his fiancé who views him negatively due to his tumultuous upbringing. He reveals that Anya's mother is a psychoanalyst, leading her to believe she is qualified to diagnose him. However, the truth is that Anya is a frustrated copywriter who aspires to be a poet. Anya questions Emmett about his discomfort with her desire for him to open up. In response, he recounts how she believes his motivation for wanting a family is rooted in his mother's abandonment. This revelation worries Anya, leading her to question if that's truly what he believes happened. In an effort to connect with him, she plays music and teaches him how to dance. During their dance, she inquires why he remains with Anya, and he confesses that she is the only woman who has ever loved him. In a moment where Anya assumes the persona of his mother, he asks her why she wanted him. She claims that she needed him, though she's uncertain of the exact reasons. She reassures him that she genuinely tried to be there for him, but Emmett has grown weary of the charade. 
Later, as Anya revisits the childhood tapes, Emmett sneaks into the basement. He stomps in his tracks upon hearing whispers, and as he turns back, he witnesses a vision of his mother's body lying on the dining room floor. Suddenly, her hand moves, and he awakens in his bed. As the day progresses, he observes Anya heading to the lake. Alarmed, he rushes to prevent her from swimming, only to be shocked as she swims effortlessly. This experience solidifies his belief that something significant is unfolding. As evening descends, Emmett succumbs to panic. Anya intervenes by administering medicine from Tracy's bathroom and comforting him throughout the night, holding him close as they navigate this unsettling situation together. In the morning, Anya awakens with a sense of confusion. Emmett encounters her and asks her to make breakfast, but she responds with laughter and a kiss. Pulling away, he's once again puzzled by her shifting behavior. As he goes for a run, Anya explores the house and discovers cigarettes on the table. She also notices her heavily applied makeup and the earring puncturing her ears. While Emmett showers, she implores him to clarify what transpired the previous night. Emmett reveals that their consumption of mushrooms occurred three nights ago. Subsequently, they head to the bedroom, where Anya beseeches him to open up emotionally and initiates a moment of intimacy. But he distances himself. Left with little else to do, Anya begins cleaning up. When she attempts to pack certain items for disposal, Emmett intervenes and reclaims them. Angrily, Anya drives alone to the town. During her absence, Emmett occupies himself by watching his childhood videos, oblivious to the realtor's persistent doorbell ringing. Upon Anya's return, she discovers him engrossed in his mother's old records. Capitalizing on the moment, he uses music as a way to teach her to dance, mirroring what she did for him earlier. However, his mood soars when he checks the breakfast she has bought for him. In the aftermath of their disagreement, Anya discovers her sonogram resting on the sofa. She confronts Emmett, who is occupied with fixing the bassinet he had found earlier. Anya persuades him to engage in another chair reversal session to address the ongoing confusion. Emmett distills his feelings into a sense of not knowing what's real, while Anya senses he's upset about something she did during her altered state. Questioned about her actions, Anya speculates that she might have pretended to be his mother. She then admits her fears about becoming a parent, expressing anxiety about her ability to handle such a responsibility. Emmett speculates that her hesitation stems from her aspirations as a poet, believing that having a child might hinder her dreams. Anya's mother vanished from her life when Anya couldn't become the exceptional poet she aimed to be. Consequently, Anya doubts her capacity to provide maternal love to her child. Emotions running high, Anya tearfully confronts Emmett, asking if he's looked at her sonogram. Astonishingly, it reveals that there is no pregnancy, as she's unable to conceive. This revelation leaves them both stunned, highlighting the depth of their shared ordeal. Emmett recalls that Anya had mentioned her inability to conceive the previous night, which further frustrates him. In a state of distress, Anya searches through her luggage for a change of clothes, but Emmett becomes engrossed in reading the new entries in her journal. Anya vehemently disputes writing those entries, citing the distinct handwriting as proof. Despite her defense, Emma accuses her of feigning her behavior over the past days, igniting a heated argument between them. When Anya doesn't admit to deceiving him, Emmett locks himself in the bathroom with her journal, threatening to burn it. Anya pleads with him, revealing that the journal holds two years of her life within its pages. Eventually, he opens the door, only for Anya to find the journal reduced to ashes. Furious and overwhelmed, Anya steps outside to gather herself while Emmett goes for a run, seeking solace. As the evening progresses, Emmett still hasn't returned. Feeling a surge of anger, Anya removes Tracy's portrait from the living room. Deciding to leave, she begins packing her bags. However, a strange presence in the house catches her attention, even though no one is visible. Determined to depart, she reaches for her purse, only to discover that her car keys are missing. To her shock, Tracy's portrait is back on the wall, and an eerie disembodied voice whispers her name. Believing it to be Emmett, Anya ventures into the basement to find him. Instead, she comes across a table covered in papers. As she sifts through them, she remains unaware of a figure, adorned with the same mask she saw upstairs, passing by her. In the process of reading the papers, Anya makes a startling discovery. Child Protective Services had removed Emmett from his mother's care due to neglect. This revelation casts a new light on Emmett's past and presents a haunting layer to their tumultuous experience. 
Voices begin echoing around Anya, originating from unseen sources. Amidst this unsettling experience, she comes upon a photograph depicting a young and injured Emmett. While she gazes at the photo, the masked figure emerges silently behind her, gripping her head. In response, she is subjected to visions of Tracy, an encounter that eventually forces her to flee the house. Outside, she encounters Bill, who is dragging an unconscious Emmett, having found him by the roadside. After ensuring Emmett is tucked into bed, Bill shares that he hadn't been inside the house since he discovered Tracy's lifeless body. A moth lands on the table nearby, and Enya instinctively reaches out to squash it, but Bill intervenes. He explains that Tracy believed she would be reborn as a bug after death because she couldn't bring herself to harm any living creature, no matter how cruel she may have been. Bill goes on to confess that he and Tracy had tried to be together, yet their efforts ultimately failed. The conversation unveils a complex layer of history that has influenced the events unfolding within the house, shedding light on the origins of the haunting and the dynamics between the characters involved. In spite of the passing years, Bill remains unable to move past Tracy's death. Piquing Anya's curiosity, she inquires about the relationship between Emmett and his mother. Bill discloses that Emmett was a troublesome child, prompting Anya to speculate if Tracy used the syringes to control her son's behavior. He recounts a specific incident when a young Emmett arrived at Bill's house with a broken foot, leading Bill to take him to the hospital. That event marked the last time Tracy saw her son. From this account, both Bill and Anya acknowledge that, regardless of time elapsed, Emmett still yearns for his mother. Once Bill departs, Anya deliberates leaving but ultimately resolves to stay. As she drifts off to sleep, she is abruptly awakened by the sensation of a woman's grasp. Emerging from this unsettling dream, she finds Emmett in the room, asking her to administer an injection. Tearfully, Anya complies, using one of the syringes from the nightstand to inject Emmett. This poignant moment illustrates the depth of their connection and the profound experiences they are sharing. As Emmett rests in Anya's embrace, the presence of Tracy's hands seemingly guides Anya's touch as she caresses his hair. When morning arrives, Emmett surprises Anya with breakfast and an apology for his behavior. Returning her journal, he reveals that he had burned one of his mother's journals the day before. He reassures Anya that he's feeling better now and hopes that after witnessing his darker aspects, she can see that he's not as flawed as he might have seemed. With this realization in mind, he proposes they savor the countryside before returning to the city. The two embark on a boat ride to the lake, though Anya's distress remains palpable. Amidst the tranquil scenery, Anya opens up to Emmett, admitting that she experienced a sense of relief when she believed he had burned her journal. She explains her nervousness about others reading her poetry and divulges that her agreement to start a family with him was driven by a need to find purpose in her life. This prompts Emmett to reflect on his mother's tendency to dismiss him and focus solely on her art. Anya contends that he was needy, but Emmett counters that he truly needed his mother's presence. He declares that his existence merely served as a reminder of the life Tracy left behind, ultimately resulting in her abandonment. This heart-trending exchange sheds light on the intricacies of their emotional journeys and the impact of their shared experiences. Anya unveils her discovery of records indicating that the government took Emmett from his mother's care. Suspicious of the extent of her knowledge about his past, Emmett questions how she managed to impersonate his mother for days. Met with silence, he approaches Anya, posing the shocking question. Are you my mother? Tearfully, a bewildered Enya vehemently insists that she is his fiance, not his mother. Doubts lingering, Emmett decides to test her claim. He recalls that Anya cannot swim and, with a mix of desperation and disbelief, he pushes her into the water to see if she resurfaces. When she remains submerged for an extended period, realization dawns on Emmett, and he hurriedly rescues her. The gravity of his action becomes apparent, serving as the final straw for Anya. As Anya drives back to the city, she grapples with the uncertainty of her decisions. An unexpected insect on her dashboard triggers her recollection of a conversation with Bill. She revisits Tracy's house, confronting her own feelings and needs. In a pivotal moment of self-realization, she admits to herself that she desires to have a child. In this emotionally charged moment, Emmett acknowledges his need for a mother. Anya, harboring a siren behind her, embraces Emmett. This marks the inception of a new dynamic in their relationship as they assume the roles that the other requires, aligning with Tracy's intentions. 
The story ends with a complex interplay of emotions, needs, and self-discovery, drawing to a conclusion that showcases the intricacies of human relationships and the ways individuals can fulfill each other's deepest desires and voids.